first step in fabricating a temporary crown is you want to take a preliminary impression of the tooth before the doctor preps it so that you're getting some of the anatomy of the tooth when you're making your temporary. For teaching purposes, this number 31 already has a temporary on it, but we're gonna act like it's an unprepped tooth. So there's two different types of impressions you can take. You can either take an impression with alginate, or you can take an impression with VPS putty, and there's many different brands of putty that you can use to take your impression. First, we're gonna take an impression with the alginate. So you don't need a full mouth impression. As you can see, we're using a quadrant tray that will just cover two to three teeth. That way you're not wasting extra alginate or VPS putty. So you wanna make sure you have everything out. You have your alginate, your mixing bowl, your mixing spatula. We know we're obviously only doing a prep on one tooth, so we're only gonna use one scoop of alginate, and the ratio is one scoop to the first line of the powder. If you were doing two scoops, then it would go to the second line, three scoops, the third line. But because we're only doing a single unit prep, we are only gonna use one scoop. So while you first get your alginate out, it's been sitting for a while, so all the alginate has been compacted. So you want to fluff the alginate, and that's kind of to loosen it up. So you can either shake it, or you can put a spatula in and mix it up just to get it loosened up. So now you can see it's all fluffed, it's not compacted down. Where the scoop is typically in the mix. You're gonna fill one scoop and you're gonna level it off and add it to your mixing bowl. And because again, we're using one scoop, we only need the amount of water as per manufacturer's directions. So it's up to the first line. She's trying in her tray to make sure it covers. and it's gonna cover the teeth she needs. Mind you, it covers three teeth, although we're only doing one. So she's tried in her tray to make sure it fits, and now she's going to mix the alginate. There's two different ways to mix alginate. You can have the water in the bowl first and add the powder to the water, or you can have the powder in the bowl and then you add the water to the alginate. And then you mix it until it's a homogenous mix, which means it's very smooth and there's no bubbles. You first start mixing upright so it doesn't splatter out. And then when it's, the water is mixed in, you can turn it sideways. That's why these bowls are kind of pliable so that you can turn them sideways and mix. So once you see that it's a homogenous smooth mix, there's no bubbles, you wanna scoop the sides, flip it, and then you're scooping it up into your spatula to add it to your impression. And you don't need to overfill it because obviously the tooth is not prepped yet, so it'll squeeze all out. You load it in your tray. You put it over the teeth that you're going to be taking the impression of, which we're doing number 31. And then you wait for it to set up. Now, usually there's some excess alginate in the bowl that you can kind of play with or hold in your fingers so that you know when it's set. So you know when to take it out. Obviously, it's still too soft right now. We want it to where it's going to be bouncy and not sticky. That's how it's set up. It's going to be like rubbery when it's set up. So we know it's not quite set yet. And obviously we're using a typodont, but when it's in the patient's mouth, the heat in the patient's mouth and saliva tends to make things set up a little more quickly. And each alginate has different setting times. There's fast set alginate or regular set alginate. So you just have to read the manufacturer's directions on your working time. 
So it's almost getting there, it's still a little too soft. If you can put your fingernail in it and it squishes out, it's still not ready. You can also kind of feel around to see if it feels hardened because again, inside the mouth, it will harden or set up a little more quickly than outside the mouth due to the heat of the mouth and saliva. See how it's getting to that rubbery state now? That's how you can tell it's set up and you can take it out. So when you're taking it out, you're typically you're gonna rock it from side to side and loosen it up and then take it out. And that is a perfect impression. So now keep in mind, you see how there's three and a half teeth in that impression. We're only doing number 31. So we're only gonna put our temporary material in number 31. 